Alrighty, so Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 debuted in theaters about a week ago. I saw it a couple days ago, and then today I'm going to give you my spoiler-filled review. But before I do that, please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below what is your thoughts on Mission Impossible 7 Dead Reckoning Part 1. Did you love it like a lot of critics are loving it? Or were you a little underwhelmed by the movie? Did you not like it as much as a lot of people did? I want to know all that and more. Like I said, there is spoilers, so if you have not seen the movie... Go watch the movie before you watch this video, and with that said, let's get started, and I'm going to give you some context about Mission Impossible franchise. Back all the way in 2020 when I first started my channel, I bought Mission Impossible Fallout on Blu-ray, and I was really excited to watch it, but I was like, I'm going to watch the rest of the franchise, and that didn't happen because all I did was watch number one, and I really did not like one, and then I watched number six, and I did not like six. And so up until this year, I was never a big fan of the Mission Impossible franchise until I was like, you know what? There's a new one coming. I might as well start watching all of the movies. And now after seeing the first three and now this movie, I have not seen the rest of them yet besides Fallout, but that opinion doesn't matter. I honestly, I honestly think this is a great franchise. And so far, the Mission Impossible franchise might just be the premier action franchise. So it's pretty cool to see how my opinion just changes across all that and you'll find out all my opinions on the movies once my ranking comes out once i finish watching all the films with that said you guys we are going to get started with my spoiler filled review and let me just say even though the trailer did not surprise me i really did not think the trailer looked good when the reviews came out i was so excited for this movie but the trailer did not look good so i had my reservations i knew that it was a possibility that i might not love the movie but let's just say that I did. I think that this is an absolutely great Mission Impossible movie. Starting off with the positives, the big stakes here. This, I believe these next two Mission Impossible films will be the last two Mission Impossible films. And so you get stakes here to where it's called Dead Reckoning. Anyone can die. And so even there's a scene in the movie where the villain is like, Ethan, you're going to have to choose between her or her. And there's intense stakes there, and it makes you think, what would you do in this situation? What would Ethan do? And it, it kind of mirrors Spider-Verse in a way, that Spider-Verse teaches that Spider-Man can't save anyone, everyone. This movie teaches that Ethan can't save everyone. And so it's intense from that, and the villain is just so diabolical, and his plan is just so evil to where you feel the intensity and the urge to stop this villain and it's kind of mirrors mission impossible 3 in a way where in that movie the whole movie you wanted this villain to lose you so desperately wanted the villain to die and in this movie you so desperately want the villain to lose and in the third movie you had a clock ticking clock you had the intensity of the clock ticking and in this movie you have the intensity of the clock ticking there's it's an intense experience from beginning to end the cast here obviously it's great ethan hunt uh, Tom Cruise is always great. He's a premier action guy. Everybody else did amazing. Even the newcomers, the villain, um, Grace, I think they were all absolutely amazing and fantastic in this movie. They all, had, they all had great chemistry with one another, and so they're great as well. And the character arcs as well, I think, are done really well. Ethan has a character arc where and he has to betray the IMF to stop the destroy this key, which they want because it's too much power. And so you have Ethan Hunt straying from what he knows so he can save the world while also having stakes and wanting to save the people closest to him. That's the intensity and that's the kind of story we are. And Ethan's character arc in this film is really, really good. On top of that, the action is also, this is, like I said, the premier action franchise. The action in this is also really premier as well. And from the beginning in the airport scene, that the scene is really intense with Benji trying to shut off the bomb while Ethan's escaping from all these bad guys. Then the car chase, and then the scene on the bridge where somebody dies, and then the final act even on the train in the action sequence. It's all really great. It's all awesome. And the stunts that Tom Cruise, Ethan Hunt does is insane. The moment he pulls up on that motorcycle, looks down the cliff, I held my breath. I was like, oh my gosh. And when he flies off the cliff, that is an insane stunt. And I'm so glad I got to see this in the theater. Because this is my first Mission Impossible movie in a theater. And I'm so glad I got to see it. Because that was awesome. And the stunt was really cool. And the action and the choreography was really great. It's not as premier as a John Wick or Extraction kind of choreography is. 
but this choreography was really good and really fun to watch and the action and stunts and even like the train with the train falling was that was absolutely great me and the girl i went with were holding our breath the whole time it was absolutely incredible watching that on the big screen so overall this is a great movie the story here i like the story getting the key because ai and people are saying that the story is a little bit off for them and i'm sitting there and i'm like what do you mean? Like, the story... They, they think that the use of AI is a bit dumb. I thought it was a good use keeping it in here. And the story, as much as I had my issues, I did like the story as much. And it has all these layers to it that are pretty interesting as well. Overall, this is a great movie. Great Mission Impossible movie on top of that. The action is great what you wanted. The character arcs are great what you wanted. But most of all, it's an intense experience to where you don't know if anyone's going to die throughout the entire movie. It's, in, it's very intense and one of the most intense theater experiences that I've ever had. I really did enjoy this movie. Even though I've enjoyed it, even though it's in my top 10, currently number 6, or... Why did I do four or three? I can't count. Currently number six, this movie does have a couple of issues. Let's get to that. First off, the main issue I had with the movie is the plot. Like I said, the story was pretty good. I didn't have my reservations with it though. Instead of it being more comprehensible, there's a bit too much going on. So over here, you have the agents wanting to stop Ethan Hunt. Then you have the bad guy. And then you have other agents and then more bad guys. And sometimes when you see them chasing, there's always a bit too much going on. You're ne I always sat back and I was like, what, what do they want with... What does he want? What do they want with Ethan? And because you have so much going on and it's a non-stop joyride, you never can have time to stop to think, what did they want with Ethan? And so it can become a bit conflicting there. And I felt a little confused at times. Like, if, if they... Took away a couple characters, focused more on like the two main goals trying to get to Ethan instead of like having five. It would have been a much easier watch. Also, everybody's saying that the ending of the film is it, it very much works as an individual film instead of a part. That's not necessarily true. When they say, "Yeah, now we got the key. Now we can go to the uh, submarine," I was sitting there thinking, "Yeah, now." We're going to get the submarine action part, and then the movie's going to end. No, they're just like, we got to go get the submarine. Movie over. I was sitting there like, there's still a good half hour left in this movie. The movie's two and a half hours, and definitely does not feel like it. It definitely feels like it, there's more stuff that is going to happen in the second part, which there is. But it definitely felt like it should have happened as soon as the big train sequence ended. And I really wish it did because I was having a blast at that time. It would have been great if that if the movie kept going on. But it didn't. And so there's another little reservation there. And the last thing, a couple more things here. This isn't really an issue with the movie, but an issue with the franchise as a whole. How many movies are we going to do Ethan on the run from the IMF until he proves his name guilty? This It just seems like a bit too much. Like There's like four out of seven movies in the franchise that Ethan is on the run from his own agency because of something wrong that happened. There's that, and it just gets a little bit too repetitive for me. Overall, though, like I said, it's a great movie. It has so many good things, and it's just intense from beginning to end. Fix a couple problems. Maybe tone it down just a little bit. Maybe have another half hour to the film. This would be even better. But overall, I think Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is great. Before I give you my final score, make sure to join me down below in the comment section. Tell me what is your thoughts on Mission Impossible 7 Dead Reckoning Part 1. I want to know, did you love it or did you hate it? I want to know all that and more. Also, I'm going to have a Mission Impossible ranking. I'm going to have a whole bunch of other videos coming. Barry, Breaking Bad, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when that comes out, Barbie and Oppenheimer coming out, and then Haunted Mansion comes out. I'm going to be really busy, so make sure you still stay tuned to this channel. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, very intense experience, great characters, great action. Thing is, it could have toned it down just a little bit and had a half hour longer to maybe flesh out the story just a little more. Overall, Dead Reckoning Part 1 is going to get an A-. minus. Thank you guys again for clicking on this video. I want, like I said, to see your guys' thoughts on Dead Reckoning down below. And stay tuned for all of those videos coming up. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And with that said, subscribe, join the Nerd Army. Peace out.